glad to be sharing with you on this, what could be a Taco Tuesday for a lot of you. We've been looking at the Sermon on the Mount. And by the way, if you want to read it for yourself, it's in Matthew 5, 6, and 7. And we're in chapter 6 right now, and we've been looking at the Lord's Prayer, which is just a model prayer, an outline to follow, but not words to be chanted. But then he ends that uh, model prayer by saying, Thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. And then it's in brackets in the Matthew passage. Now, the reason that it's in brackets is because Christians want to be absolutely transparent about everything. And the brackets would have a footnote somewhere, and the footnote would say, the earliest manuscripts do not have this particular phrase. Now, here's what usually happens. It's something that uh, generation after generation of Christians understand that Jesus actually said, but Matthew didn't write it. It was something that Jesus did say, and most of the time what happens is the scribes that were responsible uh, time after time for copying out the word of God would write that out in the margin that he also said that. It's called a scribal gloss. Well, by the time we got to about the 12th and 13th century in the manuscripts, they started just including that in the actual text. But they would put brackets around it so that people would understand that we're being perfectly transparent. Hey, Matthew himself didn't write these particular words, but we want you to know that Jesus did say them. Thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Well, think about that. Everywhere else in scripture, you have it being God's kingdom and it goes on by God's power and it's all for God's glory. So whether or not Matthew actually wrote it or whether Jesus actually said it as a part of the model prayer, it's still truth that's in scripture. But you can pretty well count on the fact that Jesus said it. And isn't it wonderful that we can say, now here is what the Bible says 2,000 years ago, and here's what the Bible says now, and it's pretty much the same thing. But have you noticed that Christians don't have to say, now don't you dare question what we're saying, or you'll get kicked out, or we'll come after your family, or some kind of threatening something. We just say, here it is, every bit of it. We're not hiding anything. And we're not the least bit scared of you searching things out and finding out for yourself. So for you and me, what should we do? Well, I could almost guarantee you. No, I can guarantee you that Jesus said that. Thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. So our life should be mainly about his kingdom. And we should understand that without him, we can do nothing. That it's all by his power. And everything that we do, we should do for the glory of God. That's 1 Corinthians 10, 31. Even if you're eating and drinking, do it all for the glory of God. And John 15, 5, Jesus said, without me, you can do nothing. Yeah, all done. God bless.